So, well, um, we did it. We made it through a debate. And um, like I said, I had my bullshit flag. And I actually threw it, uh, I threw it a couple of times, but surprisingly less than I thought. Uh, and, and there's a reason uh, why. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of policy discussed uh, by, well, Donald Trump. Um, Hillary had some pretty, you know, they were focused and, and, and detailed a little bit. You know, they kind of laid out the plan. Uh, according to Donald Trump, uh, all ISIS has to do is read her website and figure out how to, we can undefeat defeating ISIS or something like that. I, I don't know. I haven't checked it out. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I, was ho I was actually kind of assuming that this bullshit flag would like hang in midair uh, most of the night. And um, it didn't. And there's a reason for that. And that's uh, policy, what was being discussed. Um, Donald Trump's uh, policies. He, uh, well, how, do, how do I put this? He said that not paying taxes, he gets hundreds of millions of dollars in corporate welfare every year. That's, that's our tax money. That's your money. That's my money. Um, but he gets hundreds of millions of dollars in corporate welfare uh, every year. And then he pays nothing in taxes. And he says that that makes him smart. No, actually, that makes you the definition of a welfare queen, which was what Ronald Reagan uh, said back in the 80s, um, which gave a uh, biased, racially profiling view of the people who were on welfare, um, considering that most of the people on welfare are white. But you said that makes you smart. And so what I say is, no, that doesn't make you smart. It makes you a leech. You are stealing money. And then not paying, you are asking for money. Sorry, welfare. You're borrowing money. You're receiving money. And then you're not paying anything back. And that is the money that is coming off the backs of the hardworking Americans that work for you. Some of them actually do work for you. Some of the contractors that uh, have sued you for stiffing them. And then you say things like, well, perhaps I didn't like their work. Yet that work is the work that you tout every single time you stand in front of one of your golf courses, hotels, casinos, or whatever, and say, look at how beautiful, look at how grand, and then you stiff the guy who did that work. So I'm not really sure if that's how it works in your world, Mr. Trump, but it's not how it works in our world especially if we're the small-time business or the contractor or the laborer for that small-time business that you ultimately stiff in the end. See, by that logic, what I can do is I can come to one of your Mar-a-Lago resorts or whatever, uh, spend a week in, in the, the hotel room or whatever, uh, run up thousands of dollars in uh, amenities and room service charges, and then at the very end, when it comes time to pay the bill, I can tell you, I was dissatisfied with the look on the girl's face who brought me my lobster tail and uh, New York strip on Friday night. I mean, she's a two at best. And then refused to pay you. Now, that's not how it's supposed to work. So I, I'm not really sure. Uh, you know what? There, there goes the bullshit flag right on that right there. So there it is. That's my, that's my, it's been 48 hours, not quite, um, it's been a day and a half, but, uh, you know, it was two nights ago today that that debate happened. It's Wednesday. So it was Monday night and I was surprised that my girlfriend actually let me watch it in real time. Um, she also, uh, we don't discuss politics or, or who she or I vo are voting for, but, um, she also was, uh, she, she sat aghast at the just constant insult hurling and uh, falsehoods um, that were coming out of somebody's mouth. And so that's four and a half minutes. Keep it classy, America.